Hey, what's up? My name is Lee Wilson. I'm a singer, songwriter, producer in the dance world. And today I'm gonna to give you my five tips about collabs. Tip number one, set an intention. It's so important with any of your projects, with life in general, just to set an intention. So with collabs, are you looking to collaborate with someone because you're a fan, you already listen to their music, you already support them, or are you looking to collaborate with someone because they have millions and millions of listeners, followers, whatever the case may be, and you're hoping that if you collaborate with them, that that will kind of fall over into your end. Whatever the case is, it's always important to set an intention. Tip number two is to make it make sense. Now, if you have 10K followers a month and the person you wanna collab with has over a million, maybe they're gonna look at you kinda of crazy like, mm, I don't think I wanna collab with you. A lot of people underestimate the power of collaborating with someone who's on your level. When I say on your level, I'm not talking about talent-wise, I'm just talking about someone whose fan base is similar to yours, whose numbers are similar to yours. Collaborating together is so powerful because you're both so hungry and you both wanna to get to that next level. And um, a lot of time people want to level up. So if you don't have a million followers and, and you're looking for someone to collaborate with someone who does, they might look at, they're, they're looking for someone also who has similar numbers to them. So tip number two is to make it make sense. Tip number three is to be open-minded. Now I'm used to working with just my piano player and my engineer, or sometimes I have the final call. Most of the times I have the final call. But when you're in a collaboration, it should be 50-50. Everybody should be putting their energy into the pot. Um, the main goal in a collaboration is to make the best product possible. And trust me, if everybody feels like they, everybody feels like they put their equal part in, then the end result is gonna be so much better. And when it comes time to promote and push that project, everybody's gonna be on board, everybody's gonna be excited. There's not gonna be any resentment. So be open-minded. Tip number four, this is my favorite, is to turn a collab into a collab. Now I'm a dance artist. It's easy for me to do a collab with someone and then find someone else to remix that collab to make it another collab. This is so important because not only does it breathe new life into the song, it also opens up the fan base. So now it started out with just two of you and now there's three of you or whatever the case may be and it's more fans, more listeners, and then a lot of the new fans that are coming in may go back and listen to the original project as well. So turning a collab into a collab is a no-brainer for me. It's very important. I love it. It's one of my favorites. And tip number five is metadata. This is so important. Now, when you, if you don't know what metadata is, check out CD Baby's DIY podcast. It's super informative. But um, when you're registering this collaboration, you want to make sure that you put each artist as a primary artist, not as a featured artist. The thing is, if you put it as a primary, when the record gets sent out, to all the, let's use Spotify for an example. We, you all can each each artist can pitch it. Number one. It will go to everybody's fans and their release radar. And then also when the song blows up, everybody will receive those streams. So it's so important to register each artist as a primary artist. Those are my five tips for collabs. My name is Lee Wilson. Follow me on all the platforms. It's at Lee Wilson Music. And um, you can check out my music on, on all the streaming, wherever you get it from. It's just Lee Wilson. I hope this information helps you. Peace.